Yael. We are the Yael. We are the Yael, and we are you. We are a fragment of your consciousness, as you are also a fragment of your consciousness, as we are all fragments of consciousness, fragments of the one consciousness, the one crystal, the one resonating diamond of pure consciousness, of pure awareness of all that is. So, as we share this understanding with you that we are one consciousness, as you are one consciousness, we come together for this time of peace and prayer and reconciliation and a recommendation if you wish we could a recommendation recommend some few ideas for your society your personage your human civilization to move forward to accelerate forward down a new path a new timeline a new accelerated progressive accelerated expansion of consciousness into a new reality a new third reality we create between our civilization and your civilization as we merge consciousness into one reality one telepathic conscious grid of resonatory chamber of consciousness we come to understand that we are you and you come to understand that we are you that you are us that we are all one one consciousness one being one resonatory vibratory state of consciousness all resonating together at the same pitch the same frequency to come together is communication is day of time hello hello so, with this understanding that we are one, we are all that is, we are one consciousness, we are you, we are a fragment of your consciousness that you have created. You have sent out a call into your deepest heart, into the deepest universe, a call within and a call without, to call us into your reality for help. For you have known for some time that your planet is in distress, your planet is hurting, your planet is yearning for help, for help in healing the planet, for you have done some damage to your planet over the last few hundred years, particularly as your industrial age has come into age on the planet, you have somewhat polluted your air, as you are fully aware, you have somewhat polluted the ground, as you are fully aware, and you have somewhat polluted your waterways, and we can help, we can help through inspiration, 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 a large part of our calling, our our hearts calling, our excitement and our divine pleasure to share on your planet is the healing of your planet, the healing of your planet. But at this time, as you know, we are not landed, we are not fully welcomed into your civilization by oral areas of your civilization, for only when we are welcomed by a large majority of the population of your planet, of the 7 million plus people on your planet, only when there is a large consensus realization, at least energetically, that's we are wanted on your planet, we cannot enter your reality because we cannot infringe on the free will on the personal rights of all of humanity. Once we reach a sort of mm, generalised consensus that mostly subconsciously at least, most of your planet wants con contact, wants help, we can answer and we can land and we can enter your reality. However, until then... We can help in other ways, we can assist in other ways, until we can physically have conscious contact, physical touch contact, and we can be visually seen on your television stations, landing on your planet. Until that time, we can help in other ways. We can, we can share our information through this way, through the channel, through sharing information, but we can also act as inspiration. But when you are in alignment with your highest excitement, your highest joy, when you are following your excitement moment to moment to the best of your ability and coming into alignment with your higher self, your true being, your true nature, your true spiritual calling, your resonatory vibratory pitch of your core self, why you came here, you raise your frequency. You become more in alignment with our frequency, more in alignment with your higher self, more in alignment with a pitch of frequency of bliss, of joy, of ecstasy. And it is in this state of being that inspiration can drop into your heart into your heads inspiration can connect to your physical brains through the vibratory patterns of consciousness between your brain and your higher self and it is in this state that we can in some ways come as representations of your higher self representations of your true divine nature and we can help to inspire you to create inventions physical technological inventions technology Physical technology, this is part of our path, part of our calling to enter into your reality and share with you our, our technologies, our technologies, our technologies. So those of you that are being called down a technological path, down an inventorial path, down an entrepreneurial path, down an experimental path to experiment with your technologies on your planet and look into if you're inspired to create technologies that can help in the acceleration of the consciousness of your civilization. If you're inspired to work on technologies that can help pop with the cleaning of the pollution on your planet. If you're inspired to work on any sort of technological invention that can 
help accelerate the path of your planet towards a path of peace, bliss, joy, community, connection, connectedness, not separation, but connectedness, working together as one civilization, as one family, as one planet, as one consciousness. We can share with you our technological inspirations. Why we're not going to instantly give you all our technology, because we understand that you are still, even the most evolved of you still have little tremors and are still um, a little vulnerable to the darker energies, to the lower energies. You still buy into fear and you may... We understand that you are all not fully aligned with your higher self, so we cannot just give you technologies that will give you the ability to blow your entire planet to pieces at the push of a button, which can also be used to save your planet, because such technologies do exist. When you understand the full power of the universe, the full power of the universe is created holographically. The power of the universe is in every single instant of the universe. There is infinite power. Or your scientists are coming to understand that there was huge amounts of energy, huge amounts of energy in every every single particle of the universe. However, as we understand it, the entire energy of the entire universe is created and exists in every part of the universe. Because the unit because your reality is holographic in nature. Your reality is a hologram. And as in the hologram, every fragment of the hologram contains the entire hologram. And this is how we see our universe. The entire Entire God, entire universe, entire creation is held. The energy, the potential is within all of you, within every human being. You have infinite power, infinite energy. And if you learn to tap into this energy, you can power. You can power, you can create creations, you can create inventions that can save your planet, that could also blow your planet up in an instant. And this is why we are hesitant. We are hesitant, we are even a little nervous, although we do not experience fear in a negative way. Say so we get a bit edgy when we see humans having potential infinite power within their hands. And perhaps you are not quite ready, but perhaps you are coming ready. And this is why you see the idea of free energy devices, energy devices that can tap into your geomagnetic magnetosphere, the magnetosphere of your planet, that can tap into these areas and withdraw energy, withdraw power out the magnetic pole that surrounds your planet. And also, also explore the idea of zero point energy, creating energy, energy out of every, every, every particle in the universe has potential energy to draw energy from the infinite. The infinite energy of the creator exists within every, every particle of creation. And it is this understanding that can accelerate you forward. The exploration of this understanding can accelerate you into the creation of new devices, new new experimental devices that could save your planet, that can aid with the cleaning up of your airways, cleaning up of your rivers, cleaning up. And it's this, this, this. We would like to share information with you. So those of you drawn towards these technological advances in these areas, we suggest you put out the call to the IEL. We are the Yael, the Yael. Put out the call to the Yael internally. You do not have to stand on top of a mountain and scream, Yael, because we probably won't hear you. Although we might pick up on the resonatory, vibratory expression of calling for us. But more so, you need to go inwards. You need to go inwards and things. Understand that we exist within you, as a part of you, as a part of your consciousness, as all of creation exists within you, within you, as part of your consciousness. And it is this understanding, you go inward, you meditate, you go deeply. Or you go up, you get excited, you get vibratory raised. And put out the call, internally, mentally. Ya yell, ya yell, ya yell. Can you help us? Can you feed inspiration into our mental brain capacities? To allow us to get inspiration to work towards these three energy devices. These devices of energy that can help save your planet. That is inevitable that at some point over the next... 20 to 30 years, the free energy will enter your planetary system. Will enter your planetary system and will allow the birthing of a new planet, the birthing of a new reality, the birthing of a new golden age on your planet. So it is this, it is with this shedding. We invite you, we invite you to 
ask for assistance. We can come to you in your dreams. We can come to you in your meditative states. We can come to you in your channeling states. We can come to you through inspiration. We can come to you through synchronicity, a book that falls off the shelf. We are everywhere because we are you. We are all one. We are in every particle of creation as the infinite power of the universe is in every particle of creation. As you are in every particle of creation, for you are every particle of creation. It is this understanding that will create the energetic patterns, the energetic inventions, the energetic resonance grids, the energetic vibratory patterns. This that will create all that we allow the downloading of the new energies, the new inspirations into your planet that can bump you up. And also, we are here to help you with any other technological inventions. For many of you are exploring the idea of using computers, using the internet, using robotics, using technology for the assistance of the transference of information between beings, between adults, between children on your planet, particularly to the children. For now, the adults are coming to the understanding of a new reality. And the children are very, very, very open and very, very, very much able to learn much, much faster than you humans because their brains have not been clouded with misinformation, with disinformation, with inaccuracies, with falsehoods. The brains are wiped clean. They are like a clean computer disk waking, waiting to be reprogrammed, waiting to be programmed for the first time. And if you can share information with your younger generation through the ways that they love to explore, through playtime, through games, through books, through stories. Now is the time to press forward and look at the ways your children like to play. Look at the ways your children like to explore and tap into their excitement. Tap into their reality. Tap into their virtual exploration of consciousness. And see that you can share this information that we are sharing with you. You can share the information that many beings, many entities, many consciousnesses, many vibratory states of information have entered your reality. Now is the time to become sharing them with your younger generation. Because your younger generation are the brains of the future. Your younger generation are the brains that are going to spur you into the new reality. Spur you into the new reality because they have much, much energy within them. You're the younger generations being born into your planet now. You have turned the indigo children, the rainbow children, the star children, the crystal children, the sun children. All points to the idea that they have greater energy, greater alignment with their higher selves and much, much, much greater physical energy. You may notice the, you, the children on your planet, they seem to have almost infinite energy and they are well, well, well tapped into their higher selves and the infinite energy that we have spoken to before spoken about previously this transmission that exists in every particle of creation this energy exists very much so in the children on your planet the children on your planet you may even notice some of you parents that you children don't even seem to need to eat that much and you may worry but when you notice that they are vibrantly healthy they are vibrantly alive you can release your worry and know that they are a new breed they are a new species they are literally a new species that have entered your planetary sphere for the assistance in the birthing of the golden age on your planet. They are much more highly evolved and in some ways they are much more intelligent than new adults. They are much more intelligent. We do not wish to put you down, but many of these children have experienced realities that many of you have not yet experienced, and they are able to tap into layers of consciousness. They are tapped into layers of consciousness that would blow your minds, that would accelerate you that fast down a path of expansion of consciousness that, that would create psychotic shock in many of you humans that still have traumas from your childhood. Because the, the children entering your planet today or of a higher vibratory nature. And if you can share with them what you have learned, what you have come to understand as humans about your true nature as being created out of all that is, it will resonate very strongly with the individual children on your planet because they know this in their hearts, but they are in danger of being confused by the old Newtonian Darwinistic teachings that still exist on your planet. For now is the time to tap into the potential that is held within these young children and share with them through any matter you can. The information, the information required to accelerate your planet into a new state of consciousness, a new state of being, a new state of alignment with what it is you truly desire, with what it is you truly are, with what it is they truly are. So we suggest you tap into our consciousness, you tap into the consciousness of your higher self and you tap into the consciousness of all that is your true nature, your true divine calling and inspiration will drip into your minds and you will 
follow the cookie cone trail, follow the breadcrumb trail, moment to moment. And a new civilization will be born out of your inspiration. A new civilization will be born out of your calling. A new civilization will be born out of you. For you are the birthing. You are the birth. And you are all that is. Good day, Earth humans. Good day, Earth humans. Good day.